Today we're not going to be cooking anything in the kitchen, but I will be doing a review of the Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven that I recently purchased. I had been in the market for one for some time now, and what caught my attention with the Caloric Max Fryer Oven was its large capacity, temperatures up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and a very attractive design. So let's see how this fares out. The first and the most important thing that comes out of the box is the oven itself. But let's not forget all the accessories that also comes with it. You will find a drip tray, a wire rack, an air fryer basket, a baking tray, steak tray, bacon tray, everything to make a rotisserie, the spit forks and the handle, and a tray handle to lift the hot items out of the oven. And last but not least, it also includes an instruction booklet and a recipe book. So let's go try out our brand new oven. The Chloric Max is a convection air frying oven with two French doors. When one opens, the other opens with it. It is fairly large in size. It can hold a 12 inch pizza. If you turn this on, you can see that it has an air frying mode and a baking mode. In the air frying mode, you have the two lines of uh, items that you can cook in there. The chicken, ribs, shrimp, steak. You can defrost, you can dehydrate, you can make french fries. Um, and then in the bake setting, you have the option to broil, to make pastry, make a pizza. You can proof your um, items if you're making some bread or something. You can roast and you can toast. It can do a rotisserie chicken. So I'm going to turn this thing off for now. If you hold it for three seconds, it turns off the oven completely. So now I've had this caloric oven for about a month or so. I'm going to tell you what I like about it. I love the fact that it has the French door, so it's very wide and I can put things in easily and I can put a 12 inch pizza in there without any trouble whatsoever. That's one of the things I like about it. I like the fact that it has a nice bright light. Some of the other things I like about this oven is that it has quite a few settings, whether you want to air fry something or bake something. I've made a pizza in there, came out quite nice and was crispy at the bottom. The asparagus took under eight minutes to cook and came out just beautiful. Other things that we've tried, we've tried proofing some dough for donuts. We didn't fry, we didn't cook the donuts in there because it just didn't feel right to not fry them. The other thing we have tried here is the chicken skewers. They turned out very moist and just the right amount of crispy on the outside. We made roast potatoes in here. They also turned out really good. So I'm really happy with the way things um, have turned out so far. The only other thing I have to say about this oven is that it does cook a little bit stronger at the, at the back. So you do need to turn your tray around halfway through your cooking process and get a good consistent cook. The other thing you do need to consider about this oven is, is that it does require a lot of space. The recommendation or the requirement is that there should be four inches uh, along around each of the sides. So on the right, the left, the top, the back, um, there should be a four inch opening space for all the heat to escape and not uh, be a fire hazard. So at our place, I have found that um, because this oven requires a lot of juice, I have uh, blown a fuse when I had the caloric running. And if I plug in the kettle for some hot water. So note to self, be careful not to use too many high powered appliances at the same time. I considered if this was a deal breaker for us, but since I don't drink a lot of tea uh, and I like this oven so much, I'm okay for not plugging the kettle in at the same time that the oven is on. The other thing that I might say about this oven is that it runs quite hot and generates a lot of heat. So if you're in the kitchen, you will notice that it's getting warmer there. One thing that I really don't like about this oven is the gap between the doors. So that is where some of the steam escapes as it's cooking. And that for myself is um, something that I don't like about this oven. Not enough to return and get a different oven, but definitely not something I like. I have to say that I really like this oven and a great buy for our purposes. This oven is also really good for people trying to look for healthier options, re removing the fried foods from their diet and maybe replacing with air frying. Um, it does cook faster than a traditional oven and I'm really looking forward to making more dishes in this caloric oven 
and I'll be sure to post them when I'm ready. And that's it. That's my review for the Caloric Max air frying oven. If you like this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more delicious recipes. Thanks for watching. Bye.